You're now listening to the Z Listers podcast with Brady Neal and AJP. AJ. Excuse me, AJ, did you hear my question? All right, All right guys, we're going to need a little bit of a break. We're going to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was doing my uh, Mitch McConnell. I drooled on myself doing that, too. I really got into character. I was doing my Mitch McConnell impersonation. Welcome to the Z-Listers podcast. Right next to me is my beautiful co-host, AJP the MC, and I'm, of course, Brady Neal. I'm doing the intro for once because I'm just taking charge. I'm grabbing light by the cock, and you can't wow. stop me. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing that was great. great. That was I'm weird. Good. Feeling uh, quick witted. Probably not gonna be. I uh, that made me uneasy hearing you do the <laughs> intro. I thought you were gonna call me Mitch McConnell. That would have been funnier. <laughs> Damn it! Shit. No, All right. One well, episode. One episode for the audio listeners. We could say we just had him here. <laughs> 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 Nobody would know we we didn't. Oh, that's true. That's true. God, what a sorry state of affairs. This term limits, waste. term limits, term limits, age limits. <laughs> age limits, yeah. If there's a minimum, there got to be a maximum, baby. Yeah. If you're over 46, you can't be you can't be in office. 46. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm think... just being ridiculous. There's also that other lady. Um, yeah, what's her name? I forget, but but she's people have been, you know, up in arms about her too cuz she's like ancient as well, plus I think she's had like a stroke or two. Yeah, um, no try looking the internet. It should be Fios. Stop. Some- <laughs> I gave you the password in a second, but um, yeah, they had to like urge her to say to vote no on something or vote <laughs> yes on something. Like it's yeah. just fucking what crazy. That? What's that lady? What's her name? They're working these people like puppets, and I'm looking for the strings. What's going on, huh? The government's trying to control us. We're gonna waste so much time right up front <laughs> trying to find this lady, but yeah, um, yeah. Let's let's search for five or so minutes. Let's kill all energy we had going into this. Uh, Diane Feinstein. Diane Feinstein found yep. it. Uh, what's her? Diane Goldman Berman Feinstein. Yeah, Berman's kind of like Barbara. Close enough. I'll count that as okay. a win. She's but, ninety years old. Holy shit! Born in nineteen thirty-three. Wow. <laughs> well. That's crazy, <laughs> and she gets to she gets to vote on important things. If you can remember Super Bowl one, get out of the government. <laughs> I, I, get out of the workforce. <laughs> when was Super Bowl one? Get out of everything. We need more space. Goodbye. Yeah, sixty January fifteenth, sixty seven. Yeah. That's where the first Super Bowl was. Yeah, that's kind of crazy to me. That's not that. There, there were championships. Okay. NFL championships, but the Super Bowl, uh, that's when that started. Gotcha. I'm not reading this Wikipedia article. Do you, right do you remember Victor Cruz? I do remember Victor Cruz. Yeah. Name, I, name, I like him a lot. Name all the football players you know. Go. All right. Victor Cruz, Eli Manning, Peyton Manning, uh, Dan Marino, um, uh, uh, Tom Brady, um, uh, Chad Ochocinco. Okay. Um, who is the guy, Randy Moss? Did he have go. like a uh, like long kind of curly hair? Didn't he have a twin I, brother, or something no. like that? <laughs> no. Who am I thinking of? I don't know. Um, I I for like for like a hot minute, and by that I mean like a month in like sixth grade. I collected football cards. I probably oh, yeah? bought like three packs. Nice. And there was this guy on one of them. Um, who yeah. else? Oh wow, you bought cards, and there was a guy on one of them. <laughs> Welcome to the Z Listers podcast. You know what I was saying, Robert Gronkowski. Okay. Julian Edelman. Okay. Um. Mm, mm. What about the guy you went to go see when you were a little mm. kid in Atlanta? Oh, uh, Michael Vick. There you go. Um, <laughs> that's it. That's all the ones I know. Who's the Jets quarterback? Brett now? Favre. Um, <laughs> yeah. Jets. Jets quarterback right now. Yeah. Uh, it's not Daniel Jones. I no. know Daniel Jones. He's on the Giants. Pay that man. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mini Brett Saquon Favre. Saquon Barkley. Mini Brett Favre. They shrunk him. It's Brett Favre's replacement. Um. Oh, um, fucking, uh, uh, he's inoculated. Um, what's his name? 
He was married to Shailene Woodley or whatever. Was he married to her? What's uh, well, they were together, and they're both equally, come on equally uh, easy name. Come on, what's his name? Stanley no. Tucci. <laughs> <laughs> First name A A Alex. No Andrew. No. Um, I'll give you the second letter A. Oh, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Welcome back to the Brady Just Naming Things He Knows podcast. We're doing <laughs> AJ's good, man. just here to witness. I'm tired. <laughs> me too. I've been going too hard. Doing yeah? too much shit. Yeah, man. well, you were. Can you stop doing that? That drives me insane. <laughs> Holy shit. First five times I put up with it. Okay, if the noise you is so annoying. If you don't like it, get me a fidget spinner. You otherwise, need one. Otherwise, I don't want to hear about it. Before you we were set- on a lot of trains today. You're really tired and cranky. Before we set up this podcast, you uh-huh. put your iPad down in <laughs> Thank your you juice for box. We. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> Before this podcast gets set up, you have to put your iPad down and then sit down. You're sitting <laughs> and here- I wipe my nose with my forearm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to warm it up a little too? Why don't you do that? <laughs> yeah, sometimes if it's too cold. Yeah, I feel like you've had it. You definitely have had a fidget spinner. No. Really? Surprisingly, my little wow. one of my little brothers did. Yeah. Um, maybe multiple, but. Um, no, I never had one. I did never you have really... silly bands? I did have silly bands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wouldn't say I was like big into them, but I did have some at one point. And I have a younger sister, so honestly, I could just blame it on that. To did you d- ever protect my collect image. Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards? A little or bit. Or Magic the, the Poke- Gathering? No, never Magic the Gathering. Um, Pokemon, a little bit. Yu-Gi-Oh, I might have had a couple packs. I never got into Pokemon. I liked Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I never played or watched the yeah. show. And oh, well, to be clear, I never played Pokemon. I didn't oh. know how to this day. Yeah, I don't know to how to play day. Yu-Gi-Oh either. Yeah. And I liked I collected Magic the Gathering cards. I just liked really? the cards. I, just I never like, played. Yeah, I didn't Pokemon know what it even Yu-Gi-Oh. was. Yeah. Remember Neopets? Yeah. Neopets were fire. Yeah, right? I had a couple, I think. You had Neopets? Yeah, you could play games with them and stuff. You ever have Webkins? Never the kind of games you want, though. <laughs> 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 oh, I never had a Webkin. You never played Webkins? Uh-uh. Dude, Webkins was lit. I wonder if, is Webkins still around? Do you remember Habbo Hotel? No, what was that? Oh, dude, it was so fun. It was like, I I think, I never played Club Penguin, but I think it was like- <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Club <laughs> Penguin? Club Penguin. Um, I think Hotel? it was like that. It was just like, yeah, it's probably still around. You just like hang out and you can buy <laughs> rooms and you like buy furniture and you just buy, buy, buy. And it sets kids up for the sick fucking consumerist capitalist society. The suck hole we live what in. What was it? Oh, it's web kids. Um, and you can invite people in your room and just chill and like say curse words and like talk about sex and stuff. Well, Webkin still exists. Webkin's classic. Webkin's next. They made them 3D. Ooh. Ew, I don't like that. Yeah, it's kind of creepy looking. You fuck it up every time. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Aww, Look at the 3D. Cute. I don't like that. They're cute. <laughs> Dude, I remember when Webkins came out, me and my grandma went to the store in the mall, and it was like a card store, like a Hallmark type store. Uh, and like, Was this Gigi or the other grandma? The other one. Okay. And uh, we went into the store, and like, in my mind, it happened like this. She like walked in and walked up to the counter, and she was like, and I'm just standing there like, and she was, the guy was like, what? And she's like, yeah, I knew Webkins. Because like Webkins were so crazy that like you would like, she's like, she had to buy them from Canada on the internet. Why? Because they were so like, they were selling like hotcakes. So why, but why was she whispering? Because if she heard, then swarms of people would run into the store <laughs> if people had Webkins. Right. But if anything, he would have to whisper. I don't know. Well, she had a, you know. And surely. It was the- like a drug deal. <laughs> for the Webkins. The types of people who are that uh, on that high of a, an alert for Webkins, you... they would have been picked that store clean already. Yeah, but I guess she might have had a tip, you know? Oh, Did you ever like... see that, that documentary on the Beanie Babies? No. That's crazy. Watch that documentary. I don't know what it's called, but find it. It's on some streaming app. We used to have a bunch of Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies. Baby babies. <laughs> baby babies. And uh, yeah, I like Beanie Babies. I miss them. They don't I... do anything. Yeah, I know. Webkins, you could at least put the code in and play them in the world. Remember Toontown? Um, Bro, Toontown yeah. was fire. And the cogs would put their arms out and their heads would spin and explode. Yeah. Those guys were kind of creepy. Yeah, Toontown. <laughs> Can you still play Toontown? Dude, I used to fucking love Toontown. Toontown rewritten? Ooh. What is this? Sounds good. I want to leave. <laughs> is this like? Is this still like a Disney thing? Oh. 
Toontown rewritten is not affiliated with Disney, so somebody like remade it. You know what else? There was another game. But they literally have. Oh, okay, never mind. They look like fucking Disney characters. Yeah. There was this game my cousin used to play. It was called VMK, Virtual Magic Kingdom. Uh And it was like. uh, Do you ever hear that? No. It was like so niche, but it was like. um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. God damn it. The mouse. (laughs) The batteries in the mouse are dying. It's very frustrating. Um, Yeah, kind of that Habbo Hotel shit that you pulled up. Kind of reminded me of this, but uh, yeah, you used to go into different parts of Magic Kingdom. You could make like a little person, mm-hmm. and this was like the map, and you would click and go into the different lands and stuff. And you could buy rooms and stuff, and clothes, and oh, yeah, those were like the little characters. Similar. Yeah, dude, this shit was fire. That was like one of the rooms you could buy. Yeah, and then it went away, but then somebody remade it, just like the Toontown shit. Yeah, and uh, they don't, but they don't have like all the features. You know what well, I mean? Yeah, but they're you, probably working with a lower budget, and you couldn't curse. If you would type oh, yeah, in a bad could, oh, you if could, you would type in a bad word, it would like flash red, and you couldn't hit send into the chat. <laughs> I think on Habo, if you typed in, um, forget what the word was that it changed it to, but you'd type in like "fuck," <laughs> and it would turn it into like "baba" or something. <laughs> like every curse word was "baba." Oh, wow. Um, but then somebody making that game had to think of like every curse word or yeah. word that they thought would have been bad. Yeah, or like bitch with a one instead of an yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> I love stuff like that. See, like mm. all these games are cool, but I want a game where you can like make like a really sexy lady and like go fuck. <laughs> <laughs> go fuck other people. Second Life? Can you do that in Second Life? Probably. Probably. There's something like that, but I want full penetration. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> I don't think we're far you off wanna, from it. You want to make a character that's a woman and just play in a virtual world and get fucked? I guess. Is that so horrible? Yeah. And that's... I want to integrate like haptic feedback and shit <laughs> so it feels like you're fucking or You want to live fucked. in an episode of Black Mirror. Yeah. You want to like try. What's <laughs> I want to a... join the Matrix. I want to go fuck digital things. <laughs> I wish that we could have cursing in the title because digital fuck would be the best name for this episode. Um do digital baba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Or digital oh, duck. Oh, wait. Oh, cursing in Hello Hotel. Let's see what I, what actually would come up. Boba. Oh, boba. B-O-B-B-A? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Digital boba. Tomato, tomato. Digital ba- baba? Or <laughs> boba? Bo- I say baba. Baba? Yeah. Okay. Digital like, baba. Boba. Well, you know, some people say Boba Fett. Some people say Boba Fett. That's so. true. Digital Boba. That's the name of this episode. Okay, no one's going to know what it means. Yay. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, like, Boba is already a thing. Like, Boba T. Yeah. So, two Bs, you know, B-O-B-B-A, that's Baba. Okay. Digital Baba. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to f- digital Baba everything in sight. <laughs> Can you say Baba and just, like, get it? Once and say it clean so that I can have it and insert it every time we curse in this episode. Baba. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Perfect. Now, anytime going forward, one of us curses. Oh, I have to do it too. Baba. <laughs> so that anytime somebody curses in this episode, put that Are you going to actually commit to that or are you no, going to be like, oh, it was too much work? I'm not going to do it. Maybe I'll do it once, Damn like it. way later on yeah. towards the end. But <laughs> little Easter egg coming yeah. to you. Another Easter egg in the thumbnails. You wore the same shirt two weeks in a row. <laughs> yeah, so you just reuse the I, image. I just use the same which picture. Which looks so bad and lazy. Who cares? <laughs> the, but then again, I guess it looks bad and, and lazy. lazy. That yeah. But I'm a human being, okay? Like, I wear the same shirt sometimes. That's fine, but you know that we do this on a specific day. Yeah. What, am I going to make a whole new wardrobe? Like, let's no. say we have 100 episodes. I'm going to have to wear the same shirt at some point. <laughs> How many shirts do you own? <laughs> Too many. Okay. And, I, and I wear maybe like forty seven, um, probably close to forty. Yeah. So, so Tuesday night you can't just look and lay one out, knowing that. <sighs> That's asking a lot. Your room is ten oh, by ten. Tuesday night, Brady can't just like write some fucking notes so he has something to talk about on the episode. Uh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, you think I'm picking out shirts? Get real. You're living in a fantasy world, my friend. You have, to, but okay, writing notes is something that you don't ever do. So yeah. I can't ask you or expect <laughs> you to do something you never do. You wear shirts to work. Yeah. I'm asking you to put thought into something you already do every day. <laughs> Too much. Too much work. I, I I just read books. I need my head for other things. Wow. I do that baby voice a lot, and I think it's a kind of hacky. 
I think it's a defense mechanism for <laughs> yeah. something deeper. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're into age play. Psychoanalyze me. Start with my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a bumper sticker. Sit in world hunger. Eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I want it. I um I saw a bumper sticker. I saw like this car had a bunch of sort of like girl girl boss energy. Okay. I don't know if you could call it that. Like Barbie girl energy. Like one of them was like, if you can read this, I can't. Or if you're honking, honk at me. I can't hear you because the music's too loud. Okay. Then another one was like pink and like sparkly or something. Okay. This is a non sequitur. It doesn't fucking matter. What do you think about bumper stickers? Let's open up the floor to conversation and debate. I think I don't have any bumper stickers on my car. Same sees. If I did one, I would go crazy and just do a bunch. Yeah. But then another thing too, like it's it's a little bit hard to find someone's information based off their plate. Yeah. Some people are like, oh, they'll just post it and they don't care about it. Some people will blur out the plate. Yeah. I do because I know how easy it is. Yeah. It's like a $6 search and you can get like- Really? Yeah. Oh. But, eh, whatever. But if you have a bunch of bumper stickers, you're like inviting people to take pictures of your car. If you have funny ones. If I have a sticker that says, end world hunger, eat my ass. Yeah. People behind me are going to take pictures of that. And, and you, they, you think that's a bad thing? Because then they're going to have my plate. Right. They're not like if I post a picture and I'm somewhere and there's other people's plates in it, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I wouldn't post my plate. Yeah, but you know, you know what I'm saying. But I, I'm I'm confused. So people are gonna bumper be a- stickers are an invitation to get your car taken photos of. No one's taking my picture, but when they're behind me at a light, right? But I'm saying, are you what are you worried is gonna happen when they do take your? Well, pictures then they're gonna of po- your car. They're gonna post it, or they could post and it. And then some psycho with a sickle is gonna come after you. Yeah. Oh, eventually okay. it's right. like that that thing um that question people ask you about the snail you know that like fake yeah. scenario <laughs> where like you get like what is it like a billion dollars yeah. the snails following your whole life and if yeah. it touches you you die <laughs> they might not get me tomorrow yeah but they're coming <laughs> you know you are fucking paranoid man i'm worried about you yeah i worry about a lot of weird shit man i i'll say so this. do you yeah that's true i'll say this I do, when I see like a fun bumper sticker on a car, mm-hmm. um, I have a good time. I enjoy myself. <laughs> Sometimes I'll even take pictures of it. But I do think that if you put bumper stickers on your car, you are slightly mentally ill. Really? And yeah. And it's, and like you said, it's like, it's never just one. It's, no, you got to Sometimes go crazy. it is. You got to go crazy. Yeah. I, yesterday I saw a guy who actually goes to my gym. Um, and I think I've seen his car around town, but it, he had one sticker that said, uh, make America. And I was like, "Ugh!" and then it said green again. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I can get behind that. And then the other one was like a Bernie 2016 sticker oh, or yeah, whatever it that's is. Rough. And really? I, I was like, no, fuck yeah. Well, it's, it's rough knowing what happened to Bernie. Not even that. It's just oh. like, it's, it's gone. You know how like they ship, oh, yeah. you know, how, like. At Super Bowl, they have both teams' hats and shirts ready to go. Yeah. The losers get sent. Right, to, right. It's like wearing that shirt. You're saying it's pathetic. Move on. Well, it's not. It, I, he didn't put it there with the intention of Bernie not winning. Yeah. You know, he thought he was doing some free advertising. Yeah. But, I mean, that's it's long gone. Yeah. You know? Well, it's anyway. It's like people that have a parking pass for something on their car, and it expired like 10 years ago. Yeah. Take it off your car. <laughs> I put my fist up and like, ah, oh, fuck yeah, man. Right was on. he in the car? It was just an empty car. No, he was in the car. Oh, okay. I was behind him. I was like, fuck yeah, man. I, I didn't put my fist up like sideways like a Black Power thing. Not that there's, I mean, I'm all for that. Um, but it was more like a like rock on. I guess it was kind of a diagonal fist. It doesn't really matter. Remember last week when you called people that celebrate Kwanzaa Kwanzans? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't good. Um, I'm all for Black Power and I'm all, also all for Bernie. I will be writing his name in. So Nice. I'm not really going to do that. <laughs> Isn't it fucking sad that there's just going to be two options, you know? And there's they there's both no are going to freeze. Yeah, and there's no such thing as an independent party like becoming president. It's just who do you want? The fucking dickhead who's a Republican or the dickhead who's a Democrat? Oliver, why are you making this political? Yeah, I'm sorry. So okay. who's Oliver? <laughs> oh, Oliver North. No. Or oh, no, that's the Iran Contra guy. Oliver yeah. Guthrie. No. What's his name? The guy you don't want to give him free about. pub? Country music guy? He don't like fudge rounds. I don't if like him. If you're five foot four and 600 pounds, I don't want to pay go- for your snack cakes. <laughs> I was going to um, bring up, I was going to make a tier list 
TV's flickering again. I'm fucking over it. Um, <laughs> I was going to try to make accept a, it. I am at this point. I was going to make a tier list of uh, best PlayStation 2 oh, games. But yes. then I realized that if we did this, I would just fight you to put everyone on this list in the S tier. Uh-huh. So I just want to go through. You had a PlayStation 2? Of course. Okay. Um, best selling console of all time. Fuck yeah. Or one Oops. of them. I, I probably isn't anymore. Might be the Switch. Let's see. Wait, let's go know. back up. Let's go back up. Okay. God, sorry, I'm yawning. Who cares? <laughs> We're having fun. Six we, people listen to this. We have a series within the show called The Garbage Blank. <laughs> this episode already has a title, but uh, this is definitely adjacent to the blank minutes of garbage episode because can, can. we're chilling. Let's go. He finally made one. Woo! He finally made Woo! one. You're going to have to turn me way down, but I am so excited. Wow. Yes. God is real. What's the best Grand Theft Auto? I mean, f- yeah, for me, like, I, I don't mean to sound like I'm just agreeing with the list in front of me, but San Andreas always and forever will be, like, my childhood. The best one. Yeah. There's not a better it's one. So- CJ, fool! I like you- that paper. <laughs> oh, I like the share, too. What up, Officer Tampenny? D- ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, fuck! <laughs> That's my Carl, the CJ. Uh, <laughs> it's you could do so much in that game, and it's almost twenty years old. Yeah, you know you can play that whole game and not even do the like the, this, the yeah. main story. Yeah, 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 you could do people. You could do people in that yeah, game. Yeah, sexual intercourse. Grant Turismo. What up, punk? Don't baller, motherfucker. <laughs> Grove Street, home. At least it was before, before I, I fucked, fucked everything, everything up. up. <laughs> Gran Turismo the, 3 the hands when he's like grabbing his oh, head oh, <laughs> and but the, yeah, it's because like the, two the, the fingers don't move yeah. Just like, oh, oh. when he walks in the house <laughs> oh shit oh. do I do that all the time do Grand Theft Auto hands <laughs> 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 make video games with just hands like this dude I fucking miss I miss that game and uh, I say that like you can't play it anymore they've remastered it now but <laughs> yeah they remastered the mobile port yeah I know how you feel Grove Street it. Games <laughs> Poopy. Rockstar Games getting people's videos removed that made mods that made the game look better. Yeah. Rockstar Games making fucking awesome single player games and saying you're going to add content, but then you never do because you make so much money from the multiplayer. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. It's right up there. I'm, I'm trying okay. to get a fist pound from you. Oh, Thank oh you. yeah. Um, Sorry, I got the list here and here. Okay. It's just easier that's for me okay. to look this way. Vice City, I also love that. Gran Turismo game. 4, never played it. I played 3. but I never really got in. I'm not a big racing game guy. Got you. To be honest. You like racist games, not racing No. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Hey, remember Red Dead Redemption 2? <laughs> um. Anyway. Final Fantasy, I said this in the very first episode. I actually went back and listened to it. Yeah. Trash. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, fucking. Kingdom Hearts. Trash. Only racing game that I fuck with back in the day, like PS2 era, I used to love Burnout Revenge. Burnout Revenge. Oh my God. Like the best game. And I was, you know, I, I feel like everybody says this about their like precious games. I was nice with it. You know? Burnout I used to race my cousins. Oof. I've never seen this game. Oh, really? Never. You, you know the Burnout series, though, right? Maybe. Okay. Well,. It's just, it's racing, but you can, like, smash into cars and, like, m- make people crash and shit. Okay. And it was fun. There was all these types of game modes, and it, it was a great game. But nice. anyway, what else we got in the, this list? Grand Theft Auto 3. Mm. Scroll down because I can't see it on the TV. Kingdom Hearts, I said it's trash. Final Fantasy 2, whatever. Dragon Quest, never played that. You ever played don't Dragon Quest? Nope. No, I don't know what that is. That's dra- um, not oop. even just Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest 8. 8? V I I I. I like how it didn't stop because there there are no Dragon Quests above that. Uh huh. So like the eighth one was like, no, nah, I think we nailed it this time. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts two, mm, trash. God of War, <laughs> good, really good. Okay. Um, Madden two thousand five. Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna skip over every Madden going after that because who cares? Why is it not updating on here? Oh, because I got I got two tabs open. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. I just want to be able to see this. Yeah, but, yeah, but everything I'm saying is is still here. Yeah, but I'm I, scrolling I, us I at the same time. I want to be times. able to like look ahead and say my own commentary, uh. not just rely on you force feeding me information like the <laughs> fucking fake news media. <laughs> Jack and Daxter, the first one, I just replayed it, just beat it. 
Never Love played it. it. What? No. What? I've never played a single Jack and Daxter. What? <laughs> I know. And I'm not paying fucking twenty dollars a month for PS. What? Fucking royalty. It's nine ninety nine PS now. Oh yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I already pay fifteen for PS Plus. What is PS Plus? Well, it's like the online thing, but you also get a game catalog with it. It's the so same. It's not shit. in that. But you're also not streaming it. You know. Um, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I'll try to play them maybe one day. You're not gonna. I'm not gonna fucking do that. You're not gonna. You uh, don't play old games because you don't like the graphics. Yeah. Why would I go back? I have a play. You have a five now. Yeah. Why would I do you, you suck. <laughs> I can't play. Even though Red Dead is before, I can't play because I'm not gonna play two and then go back and play <laughs> shitty graphics. Can I? Can I ask you something? <laughs> and this is for your benefit. What? Who are you doing an impression of? You. Because you look like you're making fun of like disabled people or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm making fun of you. Crazy. Right I'm making now. fun of you're you. Saying I'm disabled. Yeah. You and you think that's funny. Baba. You think, <laughs> you think that's funny. Okay. So I guess we're just making fun of disabled people now. That's great. That's real good. That'll get us big. That won't get you fucking fired from your job. Look at number 18. 18. iToy Play. <laughs> Nobody bought that. Yeah. that, that it, was it, probably... came, it came with the iToy. Yeah. And you remember the fucking <laughs> iToy? Like, I never had one because I'm not a dumb fuck but like imagine how crude that motion sensing was it it was motion sensing right like imagine Barely. How, how crude that can, tech, can. that pretty good i'll take it oh uh, <laughs> it was nowhere close uh, imagine how crude that technology must have we been. filmed this podcast with an eye toy actually <laughs> <laughs> um never played like really any metal gear games. really oh guitar hero fuck yeah which one I only recently started getting into the Ratchet and Clank games. You're still not scrolling over here, so I can't see this, and it pisses me off. Brady, they're on the same thing. Okay, so why is it not updating? Because just a second ago, you said you had two tabs open. So what? <laughs> your story just keeps changed by the minute. Your, your top one is 16. My top one is 16, asshole. We're looking at the same list. Start scrolling. Start scrolling. Start scrolling. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. I jumped the gun. I'm a, I'm the bigger man. I can admit I was wrong. Oh my god, Jesus! <laughs> Crash Christ. Bandicoot. Now that I can get down with. I used to play those games like like. Uh, then, then you would love Jack and Daxter. They made that. Oh, okay. Naughty Dog. Yeah. Nice. Come on. You man. ever play the Sly Cooper games? Fuck yeah, I have. Bro. I, I did not. I was hoping you'd say no, so I could say me neither. I already had my answer prepared. I wasn't listening. Uh, I was hoping fucking you'd say no. Spider Man Two. I remember playing that game. I, that's Spider Man, but Spider Man Two. That was a classic. Mm -hmm. SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs. My, uh, I think my stepdad had that one. All right, I'll keep scrolling for you because you're. Freaking... Thanks, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, Tony Hawk's Underground. I'm surprised. That Welcome that one... back to the us just naming video games we loved <laughs> podcast. I'm surprised that's lo that low. 2.4 million. Yeah. That one was incredible. Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, that game fucked. Um, hit and Run, Simpsons Hit and Run. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Even the bad games, bro. The bad games for PlayStation 2, they still didn't miss. Did you ever play Gun? You ever play that yes. One? Dude, Dude I arguably, used to love that game. Arguably better than Red Dead Revolver. Yeah. Did you ever play Red Dead Revolver? No. no. I had Gun on the PS2, and later I got it on my PSP, I think. PSP? Or PS Vita. Mm. Dude, Gun was a great game. Dude, I got a good. That's my next one. I'm going re, going back and replaying Gun. Dude, I still think game, about that game sometimes. Do you? You remember the scene under the bridge where the Native Americans are like attacking you and you? Oh to shoot yeah, them? they jump down with hatches and yeah. shit like that. <laughs> you have to Crazy. blow up the bridge. Crazy. That game is really good. You know, I'm reading a book right now. Um, sorry if this is gonna put you to sleep. It's called Blood Meridian. It's like this classic. Uh, you know, Cormac McCarthy. Of course. Anyway, he just died, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sorry, McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I'm reading this book, and it takes place in like the 1840s, in like the in like Mexico, and just the whole book is like uber violent. And I'm sure there's meaning behind that. Let's not get into that because number one, I'm not smart enough to, and number two, like who the fuck needs to hear me dissect a book? But um. The whole book is just super violent, and they're just killing Native Americans left and right, and it's crazy. Is it a novel, or is it true? No, it's a novel. Oh. But this book is just nuts. Anyway, wow. there's nothing to that. It's wow. just a fucked up book. They're talking about like scalping people and shit. 
Do you ever just think about how you, you hear about that in movies? But like, you ever think about how fucked up that is to like getting scalped, sc- cut somebody's like the top of their head off, take it as like a trophy? Yeah, fucking sick. It's crazy too when you read news stories about like people dying in crazy ways, like that guy in Egypt that got eaten by a shark. Saw Didn't that. hear about that. Uh, that yeah, fucked. and uh, people are like watching. There's video. Of it. I'll show you later. I don't know but, why, but that sounds weird to me to get eaten by a shark in Egypt of all places. Why? I think it was Egypt. I don't. I'm know. not gonna Google it. I'm not but, saying that Egypt doesn't have an ocean because I don't know they if just they do. Found, or not. They just found an alligator in a river. It was like a four or five foot alligator in Egypt. No. Like 10 miles from here. Oh, five really? miles from here. Really? Yeah. Well, okay. Pinpoint our location. Why don't you? About an alligator? Yeah. That's crazy. Right? We're in New Jersey. I know. There's alligators here? Apparently. <laughs> but uh, just thinking about like, or like, remember I would send you those crazy war videos, people getting yeah. killed in Russia and Ukraine and all yeah. that? Like, just crazy to <laughs> and think And you like, watch them with, can I not say that? You can say whatever you want. You don't edit this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but I th- I watched these like these horrific videos or like the video you showed me of the guy in Australia getting his night neck yeah. slit Yikes. head yeah. cut off basically yeah. and uh, just think like all that person's like life decisions you know th- times they were stressed out stuck in traffic yeah. all just leading up to them just getting eaten by a shark or getting their neck neck slashed yeah. by a huge machete yeah. or a huge knife in the middle of a mall in Australia it's just crazy yeah you know and then shout out to Bob Barker he just died ninety nine oh, years old yeah R I P to a real one. And I'm I'm mad at everybody that's like, oh, I thought he died already. What the f- no? Why you thought he died already? I I didn't like actively go around thinking that, but I was shocked. Like, oh wow, I I can't believe he was still alive. Wow. I don't mean that disrespectfully. It's just like I, he was very he was Put old. Some respect. He was old in fucking Happy Gilmore. Now like thirty years yeah. later, he just died. That's crazy. Imagine getting to sixty nine years old, and uh, first of all, thirty nice. years left. <laughs> yeah, you still got 30 years to go. That's crazy. Wow. Imagine getting to 30 and you have 69 years left. That's crazy. Wow. Shout we should all Bob be Barker. so lucky. Shout out to Bob Barker. And then there's memes saying that like the the objective of Price is Right when you spin the big wheel yeah. was to get close to 100 and not go over. Yeah. That's exactly what he did. Very funny, Internet. Oh. You're all racing to make the same stupid joke. And then I repeated on our silly little show. <laughs> I love doing this. We have fun. Yeah, me too. It's crazy we could just do this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Nobody's stopping us. They might try. No one's watching, but no one's stopping us. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that um, Pharma Bro guy that bought that Wu-Tang album? Martin Shkreli? Yeah. yeah. And then um, he like hid that Wu-Tang album so no one could listen to it? Yeah. I'm going to make like our own golden Wu-Tang album, and it's just going to be all the stuff we cut from this. Yeah. And I'm going to sell it to a billionaire, <laughs> and uh, I'll sell it to Soros. Or just give it to Jordan Rogers. He yeah, deserves it. He does deserve it. But <laughs> you know, you know what we do? We we like bring him in and we like screen it for him. Yeah. You know, we take his phone, lock <laughs> no, it. We up. have to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jordan. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Nobody can learn about Imagine this. imagine you're a guy and you find a podcast and you start listening to it. Yeah. And then one day the podcast talks about <laughs> <laughs> How crazy is that? Don't say that, dude. <laughs> I'm just thinking right now in my head about like all the cuts I'm going to have to make to still make it sound like a... No, you could leave that in. That's... Cr- no. <laughs> we're not saying we're going to do it. The joke was that we'd like show him such like, you know, explicit, uh, unleakable stuff that like we have to... It's like when you say like, oh, I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you. Oh, we're just making a silly joke. Jordan, you know it's all jokes. I told him, I told him like a couple weeks ago we were going to buy him a yacht. So... Well, Jordan, you're safe. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> right now, he's watching us just screaming, Baba. <laughs> what else we got? My phone's over there, so I don't even have anything to look I at. I don't know. I don't know. I, I still say we need an episode where we're just looking at porn. <laughs> and not even engaging with with the mics or <laughs> like looking at the camera. Just like both of us, just like, oh, that's fucking cool. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you, man. Yeah. I got something broken in my brain. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Was that your foot? You annoy me a lot. <laughs> Can't you just sit still like a normal guy? <laughs> Why do you have to touch and break shit? Oh, my God, dude. God damn it, dude. <laughs> um, What were you going to talk about? 
<laughs> oh, I just want to punch you. <laughs> Can we do an episode where we get one of the tables that like a uh, OBGYN would have? <laughs> you want to have me in stirrups? Yeah, I really do. Because you basically are right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do the rest of the episode like this. So draw this out as long as you can to make me uncomfortable. Wow. What is This episode is sponsored by Puma Socks. Uh, what is what? <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say. Are you stuck like that? No. I mean, it's going to be a predicament to get out of this position, but I'm not stuck by any means. I'm very flexible. There could be one of those machines under the table. <laughs> 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 The fucking like back and forth dildo ramrod. That's crazy. <laughs> Baba ramrod. Come on, bro. God, you got to say it oh, right. Oh, Baba. Baba. <laughs> Baba. Oh, Baba. Baba. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh. I'm kind of done. <laughs> Me and uh, John Quinones get a competition. <laughs> Whoever comes first loses. <laughs> He'll never be on the podcast now. God damn it. <laughs> what would you, Baba? <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. I haven't watched that show in so long. If I got smelling salts, like the workout kind, would you do them before podcast? <laughs> I'd probably be... I'd have to do thorough research about, like... Uh, I'd be scared. Oh, my God. I'd be scared it would do something to my heart. It's just like ammonia. Yeah. Well, do you regularly sniff ammonia? No, but it's not going to kill you. It's so casually. Who cares? You know? What else? I'll tell you something that I'm like a little annoyed about. (laughs) 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 Fucking, I'm tired of these like older women at my job (laughs) who are just dousing themselves in perfume. Mm. Is that a a legit issue over there? A little bit. It's enough already, (laughs) you know? Fucking, they sent themselves like their, um, like their teenage chick. Like, first of all, the scents themselves are like childish. It's like fucking cotton candy and shit. <laughs> what are you gonna uh, about to pop on over to to pink and pick out some yoga pants? Like you're fucking, you're fifty six. <laughs> Stop. And second of all, like you know, there's some saying it's like perfume or cologne or whatever it's meant to be discovered not announced or something like that it's like you shouldn't be shouting your scent (laughs) from the fucking rooftops you should be whispering it romantically i don't want to smell you from down the hall i was somewhere for work the other day and i was waiting for somebody and a guy walked past me and he said good morning and i said good morning and then like two seconds later his scent followed yeah and bro it wasn't cologne it was just straight bo and i was like that is oh, disgusting that's dude rough. and that's like one of my biggest fears i would hope that if i ever smelled the people i was with would tell me yeah people i was around would tell me because i can't that's that's crazy dude i'll tell you right now actually i'm so glad you brought that up because there's two people at my job who like regularly stink and I'll never tell them. Really? Yeah. They're Why? one of them's like sort of like a, a, a dude that I like, you know, uh. like we're we're kind of buddies. I don't know what it is, honestly. But <laughs> and it's not like all the time. Maybe my nose just isn't always on. I don't know. Sometimes he smells bad, like BO. And then the other one <laughs> is this chick. We'll just call her Death Mouth. <laughs> Like a like a James Bond villain, Death Mouth. <laughs> Again, sometimes my <laughs> sometimes Death my nose mouth. is on and sometimes it's like off. I yeah. think, or or maybe sometimes her breath is bad and sometimes it's not. I don't know. But when it's bad, that shit. Ooh, whatever it's the bad. opposite of slaps is, it like it slaps you in the nuts. <laughs> Today, I had to sit next to her. Yeah. She might have halitosis. I almost like gave up my lunch, you know? No shot. In the carnal way. I wasn't actually like yeah. gagging and stuff, but you I'm saying- You smell her breath from her just sitting close to you? Just sitting close to me. As she, cl- closer than you and I are right now? Closer than, but even if she's like not necessarily looking at me and talking to me, it smells like death. Like, I, I don't mean to gross she people She's old out. or young? She's older. She's probably in her like mid to late 50s, but oh my God. And it's- it's 
to the extent and you said halitosis it's to the extent where it's like there's no way she doesn't know because you ever like fall asleep without brushing your teeth and and you wake up you could you could feel that motherfucker, oh yeah you know <laughs> yeah, yeah you're yeah, like yeah. after like a hardcore nap yeah and you swallow a little too deeply and you're like oh i gotta get some listerine in me boy um thera breath Therabreath? Is that the, the hot new? That's the one. I that new new? That's the good one. Yeah. Is that a mouthwash? Yeah. Okay, nice. Anyway, somebody's got to gift her a whole palette of Therabreath because like, <laughs> and somebody said she had like problems with her like, like a, like a poop thing, but like, it's definitely, <laughs> it's def- I don't know if she has shit coming out of her mouth, but it's definitely. It's like the South Park episode. The smell is definitely coming from her like. Rectum? No, from her mouth. So I'm saying like... No, but I'm saying like the origin. Yeah, I don't from know. From her ass. So wow. I'm sorry if I gross people out, but I have to deal with it. So now Would you, you tell me if I smelled? It. I would tell you if you smelled. Okay. Because we're like besties. Good. But like... like? I, I don't... We are besties, boyfriend. I don't want to like... I don't want to hurt people's feelings at work. Yeah, but... Even though a lot of them piss me but off. But you, you can't be the only person that thinks that. I know. And other people have... Talked about her. So you got to be the real one and tell her. I know. At what point is it too late? Because there will be a point where it's too late. I think it's never too late because she can, maybe she just doesn't know. And you can like, okay, people have already talked shit about your breath, but now you can fix it and people will stop. But then if you're that person with the shitty breath, you, you have to then think, how long has this been going on? Yeah. And why are they just telling me now? Yeah. You know, that's a shame. Yeah. Some people stink real bad. Oh, yeah. I just don't know what she does or doesn't do. Yeah. Don't stink. Take a shower. And if you're old, stop clinging to your youth. <laughs> don't dye your that hair same, colors that it can't be. That same woman that does the crazy perfume, doesn't yeah. she like do a lot of makeup too? I'm not talking about clown lady. Okay. I'm not talking about you have to. Okay. Although she's one of those people. She she liberally perfumes herself. It's fucking disgusting and Who are childish. You talking about? Do I know them? What? Do no, I, you don't know the one I was I talking know. about before, but mm. it's just fucking childish. And also, yeah, she puts on a ton of makeup. She looks like a fucking clown. <laughs> it's like, it's really, I'm being mean, but it's like fucking sad. It's like, <laughs> dude, you have wrinkles. It's fine. Age... Age naturally, you look ridiculous trying to cover up who you really are. Like, be a real one. And she's not a real one anyway. She's one of those fucking slime ball pieces of shit that, you know, doesn't talk to me anymore. Fuck you if you're watching this. You're not watching this, but fuck you. What if that's why she's mean to you? Because she watches this. <laughs> well, I I liked her before, but then she started being a piece of shit to me. So, anyway. It's just sad. Just My first impressions have been right most of the time. Yeah. I'm like the Nostradamus for people. <laughs> you know, and you may not believe it, but then it happens and then I was right. Have you ever been wrong? Oh, yeah, I'm wrong all the time. <laughs> but you just said you were Nostradamus. Yeah, and he's wrong all the time too. <laughs> I'm going to start speaking the way he predicts things. Yeah. Where you could just take it however you want to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want to be Nostradamus. Yeah. Did you know that the guy that started the Nobel Peace Prize invented dynamite? I did know that. Right? And, I learned that from Oppenheimer. Okay, I didn't yeah. know that was in Oppenheimer. Yeah, but they pu- his brother died, and they published a f- an obituary saying he died, and everyone was like rejoicing. They called him the Merchant of Death or something like that, right? Because he invented dynamite and all that shit. Right. So then he was like, "Oh, this is gonna be my legacy." Yeah. And he invented the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh. Or the Nobel Prize, whatever. Oh, and, interesting. Right. To change his legacy. That's How nice. crazy is that? I just learned that today. Also, is that where the phrase merchant of death comes from? I don't or know. Was that like the first instance or what? I don't know. Maybe. I don't feel like Googling that. I don't know. What are you going to Google? Merchant of death? Like, Origin. I don't care. I don't want to read. Okay, I don't want to do I. Relax. Touchdown. Relax. Oh, dude. The other day I cracked like. 1982. I cracked like seven vertebrae stretching. It felt yeah. so good. Remember we used to lean against the desk or the <laughs> table at work and crack yeah. our whole sternum? Yeah. Is this your sternum? Yeah. Where's, right? Well, like, uh, yeah. Up here? Somewhere about. Yeah. Dude, I, I still do that sometimes. It's rare, though. Today, I cracked my jaw real good when oh, yeah. I woke up real nice. <laughs> yeah. I could crack my jaw, but like only one side and only about once a month. Probably have TMJ. You should probably get that. Look probably. Up. Yeah. Um, this is the craziest thing you've ever done on this show, <laughs> something like that, dude. 
You're so exposed below. I don't care. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Don't I do could, that. I could get so rowdy. Yeah, you wanted to say something else. Yeah. Please stop. This has been the Z-Listers Podcast. I'm a sleepy guy. Brady's chilling still with his feet <laughs> sleepy up. Sleepy Adam. Stop saying my <laughs> sleepy Adam Baba. Stop saying my name. Just like I don't want you to put my leg. Let's go, Adam. <laughs> I just had a Mitch McConnell. <laughs> This has been the Z Listers Podcast. Let's let's do the outro and then let's both hit the Mitch McConnell. You okay. ready? I, well, at the end. Yeah. Like after after we say it. Yeah. Okay. This has been the Z Listers Podcast. My name is AJP. That's Brady Neal. Episode whatever. What number? I don't know. Boring one? Who cares? Electric Baba. That's the name. <laughs> what? Digital Baba? Digital or? Baba. Digital Baba. That's the name of this one. Shout out to Hotel Habo. Shout out to VMK. Shout out to Second Life. And shout out to... Brady's sitting like that. (laughs) Shit. Okay, hold on.